All right, guys, so we're going through all the Ryan Upchurch uh, videos on this Kylie Rodney girl, and it gets kind of crazy as we get further into it. But this is the second video he put out. This one's called Kylie Rodney Disappears Number Two. Uh, when the Ronnie guy comes involved in this, and Ryan freaking pretty much outs that guy, which he should have, uh, then it gets a little crazy. But it doesn't get crazy for like a couple, like, well, there's one more video after this, and then we go into the Ronnie, Ronnie stuff. So let's listen to this one, and we'll react to it. Okay, a 16-year-old girl went to a party. She's gone. Not only is she gone, the car that she drove to the party in is also gone. The only people who knew about her and talked to her and seen her during this time is Jagger, the ex-boyfriend. It's 10.30. She responded to what I was saying and just said, oh, I'm sorry that you're going through that. And that was the last night I was Kate, the girl who made creme brulee with her. The day of the party, I hung out with her. We made creme brulee. She was, I mean, everything was normal. Sammy, the girl who seen her when she got to the party and was the last person to see her. Yes, I was the last person to contact. I fucking don't trust this girl at all. Like, this girl, there's something up her after the party and i was with her basically throughout the I, I don't know how which side of the rail she plays on so guys and girls watch out getting with this woman the entire party then you got megs the chick who rode there with her and then left 10 minutes later within the only 10 minutes that i was there i literally yeah she was there more than 10 minutes i don't give a shit what she says if there was a party was there a party Really, was there? Had a group of five guys try to come get me to take as many, like, um, bong rips as I could. All right, let's start with Jagger. I don't think Jagger did shit. I think Jagger's innocent. I think Kate Kuno is innocent as well. Some people think it's weird that he was like, hey, if you find out anything, call my number. I can filter through stuff. Personally, I don't think that's weird. He's a 16-year-old kid. He listens to stuff like Suicide Boys. He probably thinks the cops don't give a fuck and they're going to do shit. So he's just, that's probably his way of being like, let me know and I'll go look. Plus the Jagger dude was four hours away with his dad during this time. He was nowhere near the party. And if what I seen was correct, Jagger drove all the way down to meet up with her parents the next day. You know who he didn't meet up with? All these other fucking people who were staying there with her. Why do you think that is? Who's the one person from around the area she went missing that Jagger is standing beside? Kate Kuno. Kylie's close friend Kate Kuno says they spent the afternoon together on Friday, just hours before she disappeared. Kate was with Kylie before the party. She knows more than anyone, probably. She probably knows the most. If she knows the most, she's going to hit up Kylie's ex-boyfriend, especially if she knows he's a good guy and could help, which is why they're standing beside each other. And another thing, these other girls that are claiming to be Callie's friend, why isn't Kate standing with them? Exactly. I don't think they've done anything. I think they're innocent. Well, well, another thing with that whole deal, and I don't think Ryan ever gets says it in any of his videos, because i watched a couple of his videos. Not all of them, but i watched a couple of them. And uh, so Kylie's following Meg, but Kylie's not following Sam on social media. But Sam is following Megs, which is kind of weird. I mean, it's not really a big a big thing. But if Kylie's supposed to be friends with uh, Sammy, uh, why aren't they following each other on on the internet? It doesn't make that doesn't make any sense to me. I think they're actually worried about her. Plus, if he done something, do you think he's going to drive straight to Mama Bear? Somebody who has the best intuition about her daughter? No. All right, now let's talk about Megs. She said before the party she was hanging out with Kylie. Okay, well, Kate said she was hanging out with Kylie. Why did Megs ride to the party with Kylie, stay 10 minutes, and leave? Within the only 10 minutes that I was there, I literally had a group of five guys try to come get me to take as many like um bong rips as i could uh like forcefully without my boyfriend present so as soon as megs gets there 
within 10 minutes, she steps out of the car and everybody's like forcing her to take bone rips. No. Your boyfriend got there in 10 minutes? Um, I get, I get kind of where this could go with this Meg's girl. I kind of get it, but I don't. Like, so, what I'm thinking, and this is my own, my own opinion, I don't know, I wasn't fucking there, so I don't fucking have a clue, but, uh, maybe on the way to the party, uh, she called her boyfriend, and her boyfriend was already on the way to the party to pick her up, because maybe her mother doesn't like her boyfriend. So, she wanted to see her boyfriend, so she told him to meet her at the party, and then her boyfriend showed up pretty quickly after they got to the party. And that's a possibility. I don't think it was 10 minutes, so I think we're talking like 25, 30 minutes later he got there. And she's saying 10 minutes, because you lose track of time, you don't know. Maybe she was, maybe she thought it was only 10 minutes, but uh, was 20, 25, 30 minutes. You know, you don't know. I think that's a big possibility. That's just my opinion. Did he just drive really fast, or did you call him ahead of time and be like, hey, pick me up at this party that I'm not going to stay at. Meet you there. That seems kind of dumb, kind of, but, I mean, I guess it could happen. No. But that's one of the things that don't make sense. All this, I got picked up, I rode with this person. It's all a bunch of fuckery. You want to know how I know? Because look who the Megs girl was always with. The Sammy chick now, right? Okay. Well, Megs is telling not her story now. Now she's telling somebody else's story. Hmm, I wonder whose fucking story she's telling. A lot of older people started showing up that people didn't know. Like, a lot of drugs were involved. Like, drugs that we don't typically have just in parties. Um, and our parties also just aren't normally that fit. How do you know? You was only there for 10 minutes. Huh? You know how I watched Yeah. Well, if you're going to tell a story, come over here and tell me, because I'm live, or not live, but I'm in the middle of a video, and you're talking, so come tell the story real quick, so I can go back to this. They probably won't know about us and them, but, yeah, I got a haircut in this, but, anyway, his dad was a famous painter in the storyline, and he was probably one of the most famous painters. So he died, and then his trust fund was uh, over a million dollars, and it went to Jeffy. And <coughs> which is a it, TikTok character, guys? No, it, oh, but he's on TikTok, TikTok too, right? No, it just reminded me. Oh, it's just me on that, YouTube. Okay. It just reminded me that okay. it's literally like six minutes past. He's eighteen now. And it's like it wasn't a trust fund, so he doesn't he didn't actually get the money till he was eighteen and his mom was a very bad person and left him to another and that's kinda how SML started with Mario, Rosalina and they were kinda the parents. Yeah, it's a it's a whole thing. Well they made videos all the time about it and he made, <coughs> on August 21st, every year, they would put out a video, like, it started with Jeffy's 12th birthday, saying that six more years, then 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, and now it's 18. and all the SMO fans are sad about it, because apparently Jeffy's not going to be in videos anymore, and he looked like the main character, <laughs> and Lance, well, which Well, maybe is, they'll make... Jeffy have a little brother that'll be named Jeffrey, and no, they'll bring him back he's a, as a new well, character. He had a sister named Phoebe, but she died. So it's the things. And Lance the things it. kids watch, guys. And Lance, which is the voice of Jeffy, like their puppets, voice actor of Jeffy Lance, said, um. That some people are gonna die, like some of the puppets are supposed to die, and 
It's gonna be a whole thing, and they and the crew said they were doing it like a week trying to get this uploaded. Like they were working constantly and editing and everything to get this out. And no one, and I mean no one by that matter, wants Jeffy to go. I mean, no one wants a main character to die. Or... It happens. Like... Not very often, but it definitely sucks. it definitely happens. Sometimes the main character has to go. Like, once I saw it was... Or maybe the, the, the voice actor doesn't want to do it anymore. No, Lancel is like... He wants to. Like... How do you know? Did he you hear literally him? said... Did you hear him say... I want to. Yeah, he said it in the video. He did. He wants to keep doing Jeffy's voice impressions. Uh, they made an entire like behind the scenes video about it. Uh, so they said you should definitely give anybody with the name Keenan a judo chop. Okay. I I can't give you a judo chop if you got my arm. I can overpower one arm. He thinks he can, but he can't. There you go. That was your interesting story of the day. Now back to this. It's within the only 10 minutes that I was there. Here's my question. That what was all on here. What is up with everybody trying to push <laughs> this man so many bad drugs that could kill you possibly? Now let's move on to Sammy. This is where shit just gets like... Crazy as fuck. Yeah. Is this what she, can you confirm whether or not she was wearing this at the night of the party? Is that what she was wearing? Yeah, so that top is exactly what I saw her in. If you can see on her left side, on her hip, you can see some skin. She was wearing a black bodysuit. I remember mm -hmm. because we went to the bathroom together, peed in the woods together a couple of times, and so that's her shirt right there. The pants were different that she wore to the party. She was wearing green Dickies pants, but that belt is definitely what she's wearing, too. All right, Sammy. Well, there's just one problem I have with that, and it's, it's, it's the information that the cops released last night. You know, you're pretty good at describing, you know, exactly what she was wearing. Even that belt, you know. The same kind of pants, just a different shade, kind of, you know. I know that in the dark. Different shade. It's not that navy blue. It's more like navy green. Well, just a couple hours ago, the Placer County Sheriff released a yeah, new... Yeah, this new sweater kind of fucked everybody when that happened. It's like, we went from the black sweater to this new white sweater. What the fuck? photo showing a sweatshirt Kylie was spotted wearing in a video recorded the night she disappeared. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Sammy, you know, that was with her all night since she got there, last person to see her. I don't know how she knows that she's the last person to see her since, you know, she left her at the party. But whatever. Now, how did Sammy notice, you know, her belt in the dark and her slightly different colored pants? but not the big fucking colorful pink and white hoodie. On your last call, did she let you know who the quote unquote friend was that was driving her home? Yeah, so this is a common misconception. This is also the part of the story that makes the most not sense. Um, she was not being driven home and she was not driving. How do you know you weren't there? You left already. So, okay, at the end of the party when she called, when I saw her, I, she was supposed to give me a ride home because I had asked her to give me a ride home because I wanted to stay later. You wanted to stay later, even though guys were forcing your friend Megs to do bong rips and it was scary, you said. There was a lot of guys that did approach us. Definitely, I was getting a gut feeling during that that party. That but you stayed there for like, what, two and a half hours or longer? So you weren't having that bad of gut feelings. Something something just didn't feel right with the amount of people that were there. And, how old some of these people were from the amount of people who did show up, I, it was scary. She was supposed to give me a ride home because I had asked her to give me a ride home because I wanted to stay later. I've never heard of a female being like, man, this sketches me out. My gut feeling tells me to get the fuck out of here. What is up with all these weird people? I want to stay here longer. I then realized <laughs> during the party that I believe she was drunk. Oh, and shit. I knew she was drunk. That's funny. And so I did not want her to be driving me home um, because I... You know, I know about drunk drivers and all that. Once again, painting the picture of, oh man, she was like totally fucked up and drunk. Like, for real fucked up and drunk. 
yeah, and I figured she would be staying there or she would but, but you didn't offer to give her a ride home when you got your ride home. Because was she even there? Show me a picture, somebody, that this girl, this Kylie girl, was actually at this party. Or that this party even existed in the first place. Was it like a group of like 50 people and they just made it seem like it's 300 people? Because, yeah, it just doesn't seem like it was 300 people. Would find a ride home because she's a smart girl. Is that what you figured? Well, you said when y'all both went back to charge y'all's phones in Kylie's car, you talked about texting her mom. She texted her mom that she was coming home. That doesn't sound like, hey, I'm spending the night here in my car. It sounds like she's going home. Uh, yeah. I found her as I was leaving the party. I was making 100%. I'm going home. <coughs> I'll be coming home pretty soon. I'm not going to be hanging out in my car or taking a nap and sleeping all night in my car or staying at the party and finding somewhere to sleep. No, that was, I'm coming home. I'll be there by, I think she said, like, 12.15 or 12.30, something like that, in a text to her mother. To find her, to tell her that I had another ride home and that um, I loved her and I want to say bye and for her to have fun at the party. You want to know how I know something's up with two in particular people in this situation? Because something Mama Bear said. Yeah, Kylie's mom. You know, after I seen the police put out that picture of that hoodie, I was like, well, that's weird. The Sandy chick never fucking mentioned that hoodie. That's weird. But there was the other mystery hoodie, remember? Stephanie's also shared two more pictures. The first picture shows a sweatshirt she was loaned. What if that was a bullshit hoodie? Put out as bullshit evidence. Or maybe somebody's hoodie used to frame somebody else for doing something. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I don't think a hoodie's that important. Okay, well then watch what is said in this interview by Kylie's mom. Then one of the most recent revelations was this shirt, this hoodie she was seen wearing. Did you know that she owned that shirt? Had you seen it before? That sweater belongs to one of her good friends. Lana Del Rey is a musician who um, sings so eloquently and has so many beautiful lyrics that can be quoted and put on a shirt type. This, this woman just seems, I, I get it that her daughter died and, and maybe people, people uh, look at her, look at things different when that happens maybe, but she doesn't seem sad about it, which doesn't, like, she's okay, it's like she's talking like perfect here. Like, I'm looking for my kids, but I'm probably going to be a little upset when I'm talking about shit. I think that it's not helpful to go down any rabbit holes or follow any red herrings about, uh, you know, a, a sweater from a concert that had a pretty picture on it. My interpretation of what she just said is Mama Bear ain't buying nobody's bullshit about no hoodie. Last but not least, this new mystery person. They're fucking creepy. They make everything creepier. So apparently, this mystery guy who sounds like he's hella older, he sounds like he's my age, his ass definitely don't sound 16, had two mystery... This is where the Ronnie shit starts coming in, guys. Uh, and this is where this, the Ryan Upchurch story gets very interesting when it comes to this Kylie Rodney girl. So, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm going to freaking react to all the videos as, as they come out, but this is where it starts getting interesting. From this point forward, the next multiple videos are about this fucking Rodney guy that he's about to talk about. Ronnie. Cousins at the party. He doesn't say their name. Even though he's talking about these two mystery cousins at this party, he's talking like he was there. Well, she stayed later. It 100% sounds like this guy was there. 100%. And... Uh, I'll get more into it, but I think this dude here, Ikma or whatever the hell his name is, uh, made up this person to get more views on his channel. That's how I feel. No. But they didn't say like they they didn't. Uh... Oh, okay, your mystery cousins who left before her said, "Yeah, she stayed later." How do they know that she didn't leave one minute after? The fuck? Uh, they did tell uh, me that they didn't see her wearing a sweatshirt at that time. There we go again with a sweatshirt comment from a guy that wasn't there. 
They didn't see did her see Did they see her in a tank top? Like the black? Yeah, spaghetti. she was wearing the bodysuit. Yeah, she was, mm. wearing, she was wearing the same outfit, but they didn't see her wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, my mystery cousin seen her in the bodysuit. The bodysuit. The same outfit. Not a sweatshirt. Not a sweatshirt. Did they see anybody like creepy out there? The people hook up out there, like right there in the woods too. Like, like, do they? Oh, look, like, I can't say the people. It's hard to explain. Whose name can't you say, motherfucker? Like, there's, uh, um, there's okay. So when kids go out there, because I've been, I've been out there. I party. This this guy is fucking lying out of his teeth. He either was there, or he's a fake person for this dude to get views. I don't party as much anymore because I got three kids now. But I know when they go out there, a lot of kids go out there, they don't go out there with the drugs. They don't go out there with the shrooms. Like, they usually bring the alcohol. They get alcohol. The dudes who come out there, the older guys, they have the shrooms and the cocaine. And then the kids go hang out with that group, the mm. older dudes, because they're giving them the, the blow and hooking them up with stuff that they can't afford because they don't really got the money for it. Most of the guys, they always want to give... So we're just supposed to believe this fucker that wasn't there even though it sounds like he was for sure there to the girls and it's being offered for free because they want the company and stuff yeah yeah, for free they're getting free lines but then they want you to kick it with them you know like oh hey come come do a line with me come do a line with me you know that's how it goes those are how those parties are right so there's no telling what could happen, but I do know I do know for a fact she was messed up. That is a fact. So yeah. if they try to word it nicely, like, oh yeah, she's a little no, no. She how, was, how the fuck do you know? Your creepy cousins were watching every fucking thing she did that whole night. That sounds pretty bad. Or you watched what she did all night. Or you are talking shit to make this guy get views, and that's what you're doing. She was shit <laughs> How the fuck do you know? How the fuck do you know? Another thing. Why are you laughing? This isn't funny. You just said you had three kids. I don't think you have three kids. If you had three kids... You wouldn't be laughing about a kid getting fucked up and being missing. Another thing, I really want to know... I fucking agree. If he has three kids, which I just think he's full of shit, uh, yeah, you wouldn't laugh about this situation at all. These two fucking cousins are, because there's only two other people I know of that was at this party that have laughed while talking about Kylie Rodney. If he gets back, he's going to know. You all did so much. Like, yeah! Woo! It was very uncomfortable. The first day that she was missing, I mean, I was literally in a car for 12 hours looking for her. No offense, but do you... Why are these fucking bitches fucking... I'm sorry, they're 18-year-old kids, so... Yes, they're laughing about this, and it just pisses me off. Like, this is your missing friend. The mother doesn't know where her daughter is. And you're laughing about this like it's something fucking funny. It's not. Well, like a round of applause for doing something you're supposed to do. No one gives a fuck. Your friend's still missing. And there's and you're probably having different groups of people bringing their type of cocaine. So then they're all sharing amongst each other. Hmm. You know who else talked about sharing amongst each other? Sammy. You know who she talked about sharing stuff with? Kylie. So your cousins, they left around 1030. Or something like that. Yeah, they left. Uh, she was still there, but they didn't, I, I think they saw her before they left me. Is, is he telling the story for this guy so his story sounds better? Because that's what it seems like to me. So your cousins left at 1030, right? Right? Yeah. Sounds like this dude was made up to fucking get views for this guy here. Oh, okay. To me, if I went out there now, like, let's say if I went out there, and I saw some older dudes, and I knew a girl was 16, 17, and he's like, come do a line with me, I would think that's fucking creepy and a lump on itself. Like, you were there, dude, or you fucking are a liar for this guy? Dude, why do you want to do a line with her? She's like 10 years younger than you, she's a minor. If you were there, you said you Here, been... Here's another thing that p- people don't think about with this. So, uh, this is a... Cu- a a high school graduation party, okay? So, 
all the kids here are 17 or 18, for, and then some adults that apparently showed up, and some uh, uh, older people supposedly showed up. Most people would not have a fucking clue that this 16 year old girl graduated high school as a minor. Like, we have 17, 18 year old kids that graduated high school, even 19 year old kids that graduated high school. But most people wouldn't know that this specific girl is 16 and graduated early from high school. But nobody's talking about that. They're talking like all the kids were 16. They weren't. These were high school kids that had graduated. So 17, 18, 19 year old kids with one kid that graduated early. Which is the kid that disappeared from this party. There are a bunch. You're talking like you were there. Question. Why the fuck would you go there? You have three kids, right? Why the fuck you finna go party with a bunch of kids? The fuck is wrong with you? But when you basically decide to go outside a party, it's like all bets are off. Like everyone's okay with it. This does not sound like somebody who has like, you know, children and morals. No, no. When you're fucking 31 and you show up to a party and if a kid's like, yo, cocaine, you go, uh, no. And then you look at yourself and you go, what am I doing here? I'm a, I'm a fuck up. That's what you do. You know what I mean? So nobody would look at it as creepy. First off, me and my friends would never be caught partying with children. Second off, if a child was at a party and we seen an older dude try to give the child coke, we're going to kick your fucking ass. All of us. But on the outside right. looking in, you would think it's creepy. No, no, exactly. Somebody needed to kick your cousin's ass, which I don't think your cousins are real, your ass, if you were actually at the party, or this Ickmunk guy's ass for making you up. There's no thinking it's creepy. It's fucking creepy. It doesn't matter how you look at it. This dude is trying to solidify it. For his motherfucking self. Right, right. And someone said, what does it blow mean? Blow with cocaine. Is this dude being serious? But somebody yeah. said, how could she have been wasted already? I mean, I don't know. A lot of people pregame sometimes, too. We don't, And we don't know what no, she did she, before she got there, either. Yeah, she she was she was drinking pretty much the whole time. <laughs> Will somebody tell me why this bitch-ass motherfucker is laughing? And how did you know, bitch? You said you wasn't fucking there. Like, that's, my- that's where the fucked up, creepy thing is about this person. If you're real, which I don't think you are, and you never were, but if you are, either you or your cousins followed this girl around and watched everything she did, which seems pretty fucking creepy to me. I know when they saw her, they saw her early in the day. Oh, really? Who saw her early in the day? Your two imaginary cousins or uh, Sammy and Meg's? They saw, do you said they saw her they earlier her. in the day? Yeah, and she was drunk. What do you mean earlier in the day? Exactly. Like, before they left. Like, they, cause they left around, like, 10, 30 or 11. So, okay. before that, like, I will guess, like, around 8 or 9, they, she, was, she was already drunk. Who's your fucking cousins? They have the cousins spoke to... Her, she was already, she was drunk. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's what Sammy said. Is Sammy your fucking cousin? Yeah, it was crazy, man. Yeah, but they but I asked him, I was like, did you guys know her? Like, were you guys friends with her? But they, right. like, they had no type of connection with her whatsoever. So your mystery cousins who don't know her whatsoever, don't have any association with her, just watched her the whole time, knew exactly what she was wearing, when she was leaving, knew that she was drunk and wasted and probably doing coke and being a fucking raging crazy person. No, 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 no. There's two people for show this full of shit. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, if y'all aren't watching this, which you probably are on your little social media fucking app, being like, I wonder what everyone's saying. The cops don't <coughs> know. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're going to be busted. Y'all sloppy as fuck. And I'm glad. Yeah. 
I agree. That it, It's fucked up. The whole thing's fucked up. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know. We're going to keep going on. I'm going to go through all his all his videos on this. And now we're going to get into the Ronnie shit. So it's going to get interesting for the reaction videos from this point forward. And then I'm going to go through his, and probably his mother's videos too. So here we go. On to the Ronnie shit. <laughs> 